Hi, this is Dr. Campbell, and today I want to answer the question, how can Hillary Clinton eliminate racism in America? In a recent article, presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton has met with civil rights activists to address concerns related to racism in America. It appears that the presidential hopeful does not have the sensitivity or the experience to tackle the problems that minorities are facing today. Hillary Clinton will need to address the source of racism in America, which begins in our education system. Now, according to the article, which is titled, Hillary Clinton, Racism is America's Original Sin, Hillary Clinton plans to unveil an overcoming racism in America platform within the next few weeks. She has proposed to end private prisons and immigration censors, which seems to be a hot topic for many civil rights activists. Hillary Clinton also wants to reform the criminal justice system as a method for eliminating racism in America. It appears that Hillary Clinton, like many other presidential hopefuls, are blowing smoke up the racism problem in America again. So what will make it impossible for Hillary Clinton to eliminate racism in America? According to the Recelerate phenomenon, Hillary Clinton would be committing the equivalent of suicide if she and her staff were to appropriately end racism in America. It means that she would have to go up against the media who is directly responsible for the recelerate phenomenon. Even more important, without the recelerate phenomenon, Hillary Clinton would not be able to run for president. The second problem with the suggestions made by Hillary Clinton is that racism in America can only be eliminated by responding to the end product. It is paramount to having a black box. A black box has an input, the black box, and then the output. If Hillary Clinton is sincere about ending racism in America, she must respond to the inputs that are the cause. The input that continues to per perpetuate racism in America is the education system. And so how does the education system continue to perpetuate racism in America for which it appears that Hillary Clinton has no clue? Education continues to perpetuate racism in America through classroom discrimination. You see, discrimination against marginalized students is a persistent problem in classrooms throughout the United States. When cultural awareness between white teachers and black students is absent, the impending result is interference with effective instructional processes caused by frustration and alienation between white teachers and black students. Black students have difficulty accepting teachers as the primary source of knowledge due to becoming accustomed to sharing information on an equal basis with adults rather than the adult teaching them. Teachers treat black students as though they are incapable decision makers that require their permission to do everything even though the student has had experience caring for younger brothers and sisters. Teaching them safety and personal hygiene skills as well as taking care of the home. Black students withdraw from the instructional process or become discontented with whatever the teacher does when the teacher hinders student spontaneity and enthusiasm and punishes the student by requiring the student to raise his or her hand in order to be recognized. 
Teaching black students requires creating a culturally compatible classroom that concentrates on developing motivation rather than classroom discipline and management techniques and the teaching process of handling material as well as content. Teachers can reach all of their students when they understand the ways in which culture influences the educational process. How students perceive and react to their classroom instructions may be more important in terms of influencing student outcomes than the quality of teaching behavior. Black students will continue to carry their own culture into the classroom and they will continue to be misunderstood by their middle class teacher as profoundly as she or he misunderstands them. Hillary Clinton can only eliminate racism in America by eliminating racism in the classroom. The final question that I have, has Hillary Clinton, as many other political candidates, pulled the wool over the eyes of black America again? This is Dr. Campbell. You can read about this article as well as additional information on my website at www.positiveracialrelationships.com. If you want to talk about it, you can call me on my direct line at 856-566-3267. Have a great day and thank you very much. Yeah, be sure to check out PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Check it. Love, uh, yo, love. Pull your pencils out, classes and session. Let's focus on loving our neighbor without a question. Visit PositiveRacialRelationships.com. Lead a classroom together like a marriage bond. Kick racism out, that ain't what life's about. For more information, check the website out. You.